Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, No Man's Land. So, I've been thinking uh, a bit in between the episodes, and we might have to sell the plow just there to be able to afford the combine. Not the combine itself, but the header. The header is almost as expensive as the combine itself. So I think we just sell the plow, since we don't really need it. But the next... Uh, for the entirety of the year from out here and then I hope we have enough to be able to uh, for when we sell the tomatoes that we have enough to buy the complete set otherwise we would be stuck with this crop and we can't really do anything if we cannot harvest it and we don't have a cultivator as well so we we have to sell the plow to be able to afford the the combine harvester uh, as i promised in the last episode we will start drilling this with the only thing we can plant right now is sorghum so let's do sorghum instead of let, just letting this field go to waste so i'll be drilling this one with sorghum and then we go and buy the, the combine uh, we might have to skip to the next day since there's nothing really we can do. We can we can stack up the tomatoes on the trailer just so they're ready to, to sell. And we have to check the price for tomatoes as well. I don't know if it's good or anything. We also need, we can do that just now to see the used equipment. No, no we don't really need this. And uh, there's nothing else. So yeah. I'll get going with the, this drilling, and then we buy the combine for a start, and we stack up the tomatoes on the trailer. field is almost done now. Yeah, it, it had to be sorghum because we, we cannot plant anything else. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, I've checked over there. You can see we can do corn, soybeans, sorghum. We, we could have done soybeans actually. But I don't think they're very profitable in FS22. I'm not sure though. If you know this, you, you can leave a comment if you like. And I know normally you wouldn't drill the headlands first and then the rest of the field. You would drill like from the center out and then do the headlands last, but it's just the camera angles at the forest just there. They're very weird if you do it the opposite way around. So it's just to create some distance from that forest. But that's the field done. So yeah, let's load up the tomatoes and go to the cell point. 
maybe even if we can bring the plow, but I'm not sure. Because we have to sell the plow to be able to afford the header for the combine. We just park this one here. We go fetch the trailer. Parks very weirdly just there. And we need to remove some of these bushes as well. They kind of annoy me. In my opinion, they are just a little tiny, it's too big. Like, what is this track? So, like two, two and a half, almost three meters high. It's a massive bush. But yeah, let's load up these. Uh, I'll do this with the super strength as well. Since we don't have like any front loader or anything yet. Oh. Stock. Yeah, so let's check the price. Tomatoes, 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 15, 12. Seems fair. But yeah, let's just take them, strap them down. might save some of the sorghum as well and buy the chicken coop a bit earlier than first anticipated I'm not sure I found a mod for the chicken coop I can show you show you here the construction animals chickens I found this one for only 9,000 which has like the same capacity as the other one. This one only has 30 and you need to add water into that one. I don't think you have to do it in this one, but I'm not sure. But we could buy that one and like 30 or 40 chickens. I think they breed rather fast, but I'm not sure. I haven't done chickens yet. I'm, I've not even tested it yet in this game. So yeah, I'll, I'll go sell this. And I'll see you at the sell point. Oh yeah, and as far as I know, they have made changes to this map, so there should only be one sell point. Yeah, they removed the other one and moved it here, so this is only one sell point by now. I think we have to drive in here. Oh yeah, they sell. Let's have a look around. What is this? Sell wood? Okay. But yeah, they changed it. You might have noticed it used to be here. But they fixed it to this one as well. Four and a half thousand for that one. Now we can go buy the combine. We won't take it with us, uh, with us though. We will only bring it when we have the header for it as well. I wanted to do the cabin. We can't really afford it now, so we'll wait with any setup on this one and just do the stock one. Can we change anything? Wheels? What does it change? Rims? Okay. Oh, never a wheel. Oh, we'll have the fat one. The design, can we change that? Oh, that's free as well. I think we take this one. Seems more beefy. Toolbox, no equipment. Power. The chopper. Bucker? I don't know what that is. Let's just do the cover for now. That's it. Yep. Buy it. 24 grand. And we just need 10,000 for the header. What's the plow worth? 
Uh, equipment, plow. Oh, almost. Oh, if we bring it here, we might actually have enough for the header. So yeah, let's let's do that. We'll head back, pick up the plow, uh, come here and sell it. We might need the plow in the future, but I'll see if I can find something, or we just have to rebuy it. I know it's been uh, wasting money, but we have to sell it, otherwise we cannot harvest the crop we just planted. So I'll go fetch the plow and come back and sell it, so we can buy the header and bring the combine with us. So oh, here we are, guys. Let's just see what this one brings in, and hopefully we can buy the header for the combine. It has been good to us, this plow, but we really need the... We don't have access to... We really need the uh, the money for the for the header, and we, we, we definitely need the combine. So let's see, hopefully this will bring us in 10k, 10.4. Uh, repaint maybe 1600 so this has to go to like 12 but, and it did oh yeah we'll sell it just have enough for the header so let's buy the header let it go on the way to mods new type what's the difference Besides this being white, cameras, no. sign, all of them. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, we can't take anything. I will just buy this one. And I'll drive the tractor back to the farm, and then we'll fetch the combine. So I'll see you back here when I've parked the tractor. There we go, guys. A new combine. This is very good. I know it's a small one, but it, it was the cheapest one. And I also noticed that the header for the... I think it was the TX. Yeah, that's only 4 meter. This is 4.2, so it's slightly, ever so slightly bigger. We will configure this with the uh, with the cabin and stuff. And I just realized that we we don't have any trailer, uh, as far as I know. Our car trailer doesn't hold anything. Oh no, don't sell it, please. No, it doesn't hold anything. Uh, so we also need a trailer. I think I have. A mod installed for a cheap one. Here yeah, we have this Oracle one. This one, I think that's a good, a good choice. Nine and a half. Otherwise, we have these are very cheap as well. Uh, our tracks I cannot pull them. They're way too big, but this is very steep. And then there's this one, Stroutman has a low capacity it's a it's it's a little bit cheaper but not by a lot so i think i think we go for this one it has capacity of eight and a half thousand but then we need nine and a half thousand uh, credits as well for this one so let's fire this thing up bison this is i think such a good starting combine I don't know by this sound if is it is it very loud? It is in my headphones. Oh that's actually nice, the animation for him switching gears. That I see it here. Oh, this is very good. Wow, that's a nice feature. It's not a very fast one, so this will take some time to go home. It's a very neat design, though, in my opinion. But we have we have a combine, guys. This is big. Now, hopefully, we don't have to do any more logging, only for aesthetics on the farm and stuff like that. But otherwise, we I don't think we would do any more logging 
for the credit part maybe on a later stage if, if we like can afford a sawmill and stuff but that that would be with the more large scale equipment you know the foresty equipment we might do that at some point but it's it's a very uh, hefty business to get into very time consuming but i think the output in fs22 is way better than in fs19 i know the wood chips in this map was highly overrated in the fs19 they have turned down the price but now you can sell entire locks on this map uh, which are actually very profitable but as i said we won't do that for, for quite some time so we'll bring this one back and we don't have any any more stuff to do uh, in this month so i think we skip maybe even two months i'm not sure we can just lose control saving game uh, and we have oats and sorghum so oats is in two months and sorghum is in three months we might skip all the way to august so we can start all of the harvesting but i'm not no we let's not do that because that will just be one full episode of harvesting or maybe not our fields are quite small but at least we'll i think we skip like two months and hopefully we have enough to buy the trailer on the tomatoes but i don't think we have enough so we might do like a harvest where we have to deliver the uh, the oats with this one <laughs> at the farm shop and that that will take some time because it's only doing 22 kilometers per hour so yeah we'll park this in the bale shed and then we'll skip a couple of days a month in the game. I know it fits in here because we did that in FS19 as well. Just park it here. Over the header. Turn it off. Let's have a look around. It's a neat little combine. Python Super. I'm looking forward, uh, forward to the harvest. So yeah, I'll skip a couple of months and then we'll, we can start the harvesting. So I was I was just checking, guys. This is a nice new feature. I've I've I've, I've only just noticed they have actually put in the highest price. I know they have fixed this fluctuation chart uh, because because it didn't work uh, in the base game, but. They didn't have this one in the last patch, I think. This is very neat, actually. So you can see what like the top price is and what the lowest is. So for oats example, you can see August is the all-time lowest price, but it will slowly increase. And it's 1270 right now, so it's, it's just about here. So if we wait like until October, November-ish, then we could get way more out of it. I don't know if we can afford that. We have the tomato, so we could wait with the trailer, and we also need some sort of a cultivator. But but this is a very neat feature. Uh, and since they fixed it, so yeah, I, I skipped ahead three months, as you can see, so we're now in August, so we can both harvest the sorghum and the oats. But we have to do the oats first. Uh, the sorghum we can skip yet another month. And since this field was drilled that late, uh, the last one, it's not fully grown yet, but the other one is. I ha I've also found a mud in between, uh, let's see here, in the fertilizer spreader. This is the all-time favorite. It's very cheap. It will do, as you can see, both lime and fertilizer. And it's very, very cheap with the full extension on, so I think we have to buy this. Because the fertilization is just, it, it will pay off itself in, in, in like a year. Uh, and we can do some lime and every single field in here need, needs lime uh, and rolling. But I also found these, this one, the Cambridge Roller, the old sort. And you can do, 
the extensions. I, I don't know how many we can do like on at the tractor, but we should be able to to pull at least three of these. Uh, and I think the rolling is a 5% yield increase. So yeah, uh, we buy the Cambridge roller and we need some sort of cultivator. Uh, the ones we have installed now are quite expensive. They're not that expensive for the cultivator. Uh, that was Power Heroes. Oh, it was there. So you can see the cheapest base game is 12k. Uh, we have this one, but it's a 90 horsepower. Rest of them, and then we have this one, which is a, a hundred horsepower. So the same width. Oh, this is actually wider. I don't have any disc arrows. They're very expensive. Uh, but I found a subsoil of this one, the Amazon. It only requires ninety horsepower. It's a three meters wide. So we might buy this. I don't know if it will work as a plow. I haven't tested this one out, or uh, if they have done this script. So I think we go for the subsoil that's the cheapest. Uh, I think when you do the subsiling, you might skip the weeds as well, but I'm not sure. So I'll start with, uh, no, not the sorghum. We'll start with the oat field. And we might just store that to sell it later, because that seems to be fluctuating a lot more than the sorghum in price. So we'll start with this small field here. Uh, we could buy a baler as well. We just I need to unfold. Ah, okay. Now we can start it. I don't hope this is too loud, guys. I hope it's still good. But we could buy a baler as well. I know sorghum doesn't give any straw. And I have the, if you spread the, I have the mod installed so that if you spread this, we might as well do that. Can we do that? No, it just, it doesn't do anything. So. But if you have the chopper on, we could do that as an add-on for this one. Why won't it? Won't chop anymore. Oh, it will. Oh, nice. So yeah, let's do this. At least we get some fertilization in the field. As I said, I have the mod. I have the mod installed where if you chop the straw in the field, it will fertilize it, which is neat. Uh, you will add some in the real world, some kind of nitrogen to the to the field by the by the chopped straw. So I, th I think it's a nice feature. So we might as well do like this. At least we will get a bit higher potential yield in the next time and I think we'll buy the fertilizer spreader as well uh, we can sell the tomatoes and do the lime and the fertilization if we can afford the fertilizer that is and maybe we just and I haven't really decided either whether to sell the oats and keep the sorghum or the other way around I have to do some thinking in, in, in this but at least we are harvesting now. The first harvest on the on this farm. Which is really nice on our own combine. As I said, we, we can we can lease in this game, but I prefer not to. But we might do it at some point, I'm I'm not sure. You take my love for granted. stuff you never meet, yeah I think I need a minute to figure out my limits It costs them more than once, yeah You take my love for granted We keep on talking from body to body, yeah Seems to be something here I think it's a stump maybe underneath the map, as you can see. We're stuck right here.
yeah, can't go further than that point. I don't know what's happening. I think that's a stump, maybe. Just there. Let's try this one. Yeah. So something's hidden underneath the map, just there. We'll fix that in the future, or off screen maybe. Yeah, I'll 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 fix that off screen. See if I can run some sort of stump grinder over it or anything. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out. I'll see if I can manage it. done and just put it into this silo or sell it maybe directly let's have a look when we have done this last strip Everything in one load. We'll have to check the price. Oats. It's not very good. Almost sell it at 2k. So yeah, let's put it into the silo, and we'll just wait. We have it as as a backup. Or we could actually save it for the if we buy the chickens, which we might do at some point. I think they, they take oats in this game, right? So yeah, we just put it in here, and then we start with the sorghum field. It's a neat machine, this. Tiny combine for a tiny farm. And I think we have to, to buy the, the subsoiler or some, some sort of yield preparation, otherwise we cannot plant. Then maybe in the next in-game year we will have a baler, so we can... So that we can bail the draw from the fields, and then we'll have to do some weed and barley and stuff like that. No, straw is not available, which is good, because you don't use the straw from sorghum anyways in, in real life. Oh, the header is very low, because you only chop off the, like, the kernel in real life, as you can see, the entire straw is still there in the field. So our first sorghum field, and the oats as well. We're slowly getting there guys, we're slowly getting there. Oh wow, that's a neat feature. Like it changes the camera angle whenever you turn on and off the combine for better views. I was wondering when I, you know, took like the camera angle from inside of the machine. I say inside now, we don't have a cabin. But it seemed like you had to look down a lot. But as you can see, when I get to the end, whenever I stop the combine, he sort of, the camera angle goes back to where the person are. I mean, I don't think he raises up, like, standing when he is harvesting. It's actually a nice feature, so all the controls and stuff won't won't take too much of your, of your view. 
but let's see here when i go to the end and stop the combine it's like the camera angle goes back to where the the person sits in the seat actually that's that's nice i like that see and now i stop it and he'll sort of sit down i really like that feature that's good makes this way easier more to have more overview and doing harvesting from inside of the combine and by the way the yield of this sorghum it seems like way more than the oats as well but even though we don't get the straw from this and we can't get from the oats i i think the sorghum is seems like to be the most not the most profitable crop i know either potatoes or sugar beet in this game usually is they're boring to do but the yield is just so immense that people sort of forget that you actually do get a ton of credit out of it but yeah i'll, I'll continue here uh, we just tip it into this silo for now because the price is very bad both for sorghum and oats and then we m might have to sell some at some point but then we need a trailer for that one. So I'll, I'll tip it into the silo and we sell it when the price are way better than it than what they are just now. Almost done with the harvesting, guys. Seems like... What did we get? Roughly 7k? Maybe more? Sorghum? It seems very good. And we have yet another field of sorghum still to, uh, to harvest. So this is not the... I don't think... <laughs> it's definitely not the last time we're doing sorghum. seems like a good crop and oh yeah guys I, I wanted to address I I'm I'm sorry for not having uploaded this much in the new year uh, I've been so busy I was thinking of maybe doing like not a vlog but some sort of a tour I do live on a farm as well in real life not a real farm we, we don't have any crops or, or anything we have a very large horse paddock and some stables uh, and uh, we have just had a hurricane where I live we actually had two in a row and I had some tipped over trees I needed to cut down and fill the rest of them uh, they 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 did destroy the electric fence as well 
So I might show you this, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but that's what I've been busy with, and some personal stuff as well. Holding is... okay. We just park this and record this an episode. But I, I will... I will do... I hopefully I can do some more playing of this game and record some more episodes for you guys. I mean... Taking the game into consideration, it, it has not been like the worst place to take a break because there's no really... Uh, there wasn't really any mods when I started off this No Man's Land, and of course it's a bit boring for you to not have any episodes. I will see if I can do some more episodes, but it's spring as well where I live, and I need to sort the horse paddocks out. But I might do an episode that's more like a vlog than anything else, and uh, I uh, hopefully you enjoy that as well. We just need to check the water in here. How many tomatoes do we have? A thousand more than this. Water's good. Yeah. So yeah, we'll uh, wrap up this uh, episode, and then the next one we will harvest the last sorghum, sell the tomatoes, and hopefully we can buy uh, a a cultivator of some sort and a fertilizer. It's growing wheat. Ah, the wheat is growing. Okay, maybe the rollers as well. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So, uh, thank you for watching, guy, uh, guys, and uh, bye for now. See you in the next one.